we want to simplify the given expression using the provided exponent rules. And because our expressions involve fractions raised to powers, let's begin by reviewing these two rules here. Where if we have the basic fraction x over y or x divided by y raised to the power of n, this would be equal to x to the power of n divided by y to the power of n. So we raise a numerator and denominator to the power of n. Or if we have a fraction inside parentheses that also contains exponents like we see here, where we have x to the power of a divided by y to the power of b, all raised to the power of n, since we have powers to powers, we multiply the exponents. This is equal to x to the power of a times n divided by y to the power of b times n. This rule here is just an extension of the basic rule here when we have a to the power of m raised to the power of n. Or if we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So looking at our first example, we have two-thirds raised to the second power. So if it's helpful, we could think of this as two to the first divided by three to the first, and since we have powers to powers, we would multiply the exponents. So we'd have two to the power of one times two is two, over three to the power of one times two, or two. Well, two to the second is equal to four, and three to the second is equal to nine, so two-thirds squared, or two-thirds of the second power, equals four-ninths. Of course, the other option is just to expand this. Our base is two-thirds and the exponent is two, therefore we have two factors of two-thirds. Two-thirds squared would just be two-thirds times two-thirds, which of course is also equal to four-ninths. But we do want to get used to using these exponent rules because when we start mixing in negative exponents, it becomes much more difficult to just expand and then simplify. So looking at our second example, it might be helpful to think of this as x to the first divided by four to the first raised to the third, and therefore we have powers to powers, so we multiply the exponents. We'd have x to the power of one times three is three, divided by four to the power of one times three, or four to the third. We cannot simplify x to the third because we don't know the value of x, but we can simplify four to the third. That's equal to four times four times four, or 64. So this simplifies to x to the third divided by 64. And now for our last example, we have y to the second divided by two to the third, all raised to the second power. And because we have powers of powers, we will multiply the exponents. This would be y to the power of two times two, that's four, divided by two to the power of three times two, that's six. Again, we can't simplify y to the fourth because we don't know the value of y, but we can simplify two to the sixth. That's equal to 64. But let's also show how we can evaluate this on the calculator. We enter the base, which is two. This is the exponent key on this calculator. So two raised to the power of six, which is the exponent, and enter. I hope you found this helpful.